WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. I'm Steve Rhodes, and welcome to your 1 p.m. update. Uh, Currently, we've got the Dow trading down 109 points. Uh, It's the only uh, indice that is in the red other than the spot volatility index, which is down uh, about 40 cents, 3 percent, trade out at 1221. Uh, You've got the S&Ps up four points, the NASDAQ 100 up 22. Uh, Russell is up 14 points, having a nice move today. So are the semis up nearly 3 percent, or 45 points out there. New York Stock Exchange is up less than one tenth of a percent. However, the advance uh, advances are outpacing declines by more than two to one. And what that's doing, folks, that's taking the advanced decline oscillator. That's the difference between the 39 and 19 day exponential moving average of the advanced decline, the net advancing or net declining issues on a daily basis. And it takes that uh, ratio up above zero. Uh, right now, it's printing out at 2752. The reason that's so important to you and to me and to all of us out there is uh, because if it closes above zero, I'm referring to the advanced decline oscillator reading, uh, then if there is follow through tomorrow and it stays above zero, says the uh, buyers are back in control of the market. Uh, It could be a false reading, and a false reading here is what happens on day two. But we don't know what the close is going to be looking like, but that is certainly one that you want to be paying attention to. Now, if we take a look at where real resistance is inside the equity markets out here, all we have to do is just simply turn to take a look at the four equity contracts. Uh, futures contracts out here and take a look at their TAS market profiles. What we're going to see is that in the ES Mini, it should find resistance up at about 3023, as long as it closes above 3006 today is what we'll say. Inside the NASDAQ, the NQ out here, it's running up into the top of a brand new bearish structured weekly profile. That price point is 8,150. So the ES Mini may not get all the way up to the top of its box, but if it does... Well, it will have a better chance of doing so, is what I should say, is if the NQ trades and closes above 8,150. Inside the Dow, the Dow is having a tough day, mostly because of Boeing out there. And it's just simply trading in between its profiles from a daily standpoint. That's between 27,175 and 27,397. So there is your 1 p.m. update. Trying to be as riveting as I can be after watching three hours of what was basically boring testimony by sleepy Robert Mueller. Hey, stay tuned. I'll keep you alive and active or go back and watch all that nonsense. Steve Rhodes, TFNN. Thanks for being here.